Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Dev and welcome back in Python. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Dash 3D models in Glow 3D. We're also going to use Dash animations in Glow 3D. So let's get started. And before starting this video, I want to request you, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, please subscribe it. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and colleagues. And also you can press the bell icon so you can get notification of our our latest videos so let's get started first I will open the dash 3 So guys, after opening the Dash 3D software, we need to choose our model. So simply go to the figure. So I'm going to use the latest uh, Genesis 9. This is our Genesis 9 and uh, let me make some changes in the model. Let me show you in the render view how it looks. So this is our model. So we will going to export this. So right now it is in a pose so we will simply export it in a pose export let me delete all the files first so then this is so our a pose is exported now we will also export the animation so go to the animation section so there are different animation we have which we had purchased from the dance to and uh, dance um, store So let me show you the animation. So this is the animation we are going to export. Let me make it for 25 seconds. So we have a long Long
So this is 12 second animation. Okay, we will going to export the animation. So we will select the avatar and go to file export. And this will also export in the FX file format. Then so now we had included the animation so you can see here the animation is included and export. Now we had done everything from the dash. Now we will import our 3D model in Flow 3D. Simply go to File, Import, and FBX. First, we will import the A pose. This is our model. Now we will need to make some changes. So what we will do, we will select the eye, make it the opacity zero, make the opacity zero. Same with the other one. You can also that skin render now we will save this model as a clone asset to save avatar Now we will also import the animation. So this is our animation. Let me show. So this is the animation we will need. We had imported from the test 3D. Now we will also save it as joint motion. And prior using. Now we can open. Now we can open our avatar. And we will apply the animation. Now we our work is done. Let me show you. 
how it looked like. So from DAS to Flow 3D, we had imported the animation. We had also used the DAS avatar. Now you can drag the garment and simulate, simulate it and create a cyclic walk animation. So I hope guys you like this video and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And you can also follow us on Instagram. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.